Call of Duty Zombies is my favorite game mode of all time, and over the years they have had a large variety of weapons. A lot of real life weapons, some fictional weapons, and even fictional weapons based off real life ideas. So today, we are going to go over one of the most rarest weapons in Call of Duty Zombies and a guide on how to get it. So to get this weapon, just understand it's going to be a journey, because there's a handful of tedious things you're going to have to do. First things first, you're going to want to load in the Blood of the Dead on Black Ops 4. So when you load in, right away just start opening up the map, turning on power, getting set up, get your shield, start feeding the dogs, because there's a list of things that you need to get done before you can even start this quest to get this weapon. First you have to get your Hell's Retriever, then you can work on getting your spoon, then you do have to get a Blunder Gat so you can start upgrading it into a Magma Gat. Then you have to upgrade your Hell's Retriever into the Hell's Redeemer. Then you have to upgrade your Spoon into the Golden Spork. And there are guides out there on how to do all this stuff. Once you have all those items I just listed, now you're ready to start your quest on getting the Golden Spork Knife. To start this quest, you're going to have to get 100 melee kills with your Spork. There is no counter, you're just going to have to do your best to keep track with your scoreboard. After you finish your 100 kills, you can put your Spork in this tub in the New Industries area. Once your spork's in the tub, there are three different rocks around the map that can be picked up with your redeemer. There's one outside the window of the Mob of the Dead spawn, or D-block. There's one in the corner of the gutter here next to this door on the Warden's house. And the last one is down by the docks in the net where you get your spoon. After you get all three rocks, you need to place them at the three different traps. The blue one will go by the fan trap, the green one will go by the acid trap, and the red one will go by the spinning trap in the new industries building. Now you need to get 100 kills with each of the traps. They can be done in any order, or can all be done at the same time, it doesn't matter how you do it. There is no kill counter for this, you will just know when you're done when the rock will be refined down into a stone, kind of looking like infinity stones. When they are all done and being refined, you can pick them all up and head to the new industries building. On your way back, there will be one more gold stone you need to pick up. You're going to have to take the fast travel from the cafeteria and right as you come out the other side, you need to turn around and throw your redeemer at it right here before the tunnel closes and it will fly out back for you to pick it up. Now you can take all four stones to the oven where you got your magma gat and put them in. You will see the ghost animation and as they do their thing the oven will craft you the golden shank. This is like an infinity shank and it's super badass and I believe it's one hit melee till at least the 40s or 50s. But now we can upgrade this even more by combining it with the golden spork. So go put your infinity shank in the tub where you put your spork. Now that they're both in the tub, if you go out to the catwalk you can see a knife in the sign with Sal DeLuca's prison number on it. All you need to do now is get a melee kill on the warden near this sign. I would recommend saving a zombie and spawning in a warden with the number pad in the citadel. I would also shoot off his helmet first and weaken him while being careful not to kill him. Also bringing an ethereal razor is very helpful too to have that powerful melee. That way it'll only take a few stabs to kill him where you need to. After you kill him, you are finished, and now you can go back to the tub and grab your golden spork knife. This thing is a one hit melee on any round. It is also a one hit on Brutus too, so if you're willing to go through this journey to get it, it's worth it to have. You can see why this weapon is one of the most rarest weapons in zombies because this is damn near a full main easter egg to get this thing. This took me almost 2 hours to get and 29 rounds into my game. But this easter egg is super cool to me as it got solved way after Blood of the Dead's life cycle. And I give the developers mad props for this one because the most powerful melee weapon that we'll probably ever get in zombies is a damn prison shank at the end of the day. A quality replica of one of these things would be sick. So thank you guys for watching, if you like this type of zombies content just please like, comment, subscribe as I will continue making different types of variety of content for the future. Till next time, take care.